Such a big nudge to Sussex. They totally cheesed off after Queen gave Cambridge more preference. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William have been tipped to take greater control of events in the future, as they return from their protest hit tour. Kate and Prince William have been described as more media savvy than their advisers by royal commentator Christopher Wilson. The expert wrote on Twitter, when the dust settles I think we'll see William and Kate, more media savvy than their advisers, take greater control of events. Referring to the speech delivered by the Duke of Cambridge during a reception in Jamaica on Wednesday, which the expert claimed had been delivered on the advice of the Foreign Office, Mr. Wilson added, with that slavery speech, delivered on Foreign Office advice, William stepped into a political minefield. That won't happen again. Kate and William's eight-day tour of the Caribbean has been marred by protests and PR misfires, according to commentators. After William and Kate returned from their bruising tour of the Caribbean, sources close to the Duke of Cambridge put out a roadmap for his kingdom. The news comes after the prince made an extraordinary statement, implying that a large number of countries may cut ties with the firm. William also hinted that he might not be the Commonwealth's leader. Writing on Twitter, he said, I know that this tour has brought into even sharper focus questions about the past and the future. In Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas, that future is for the people to decide upon. But we have thoroughly enjoyed spending time with communities in all three countries understanding more about the issues that matter most to them. William added, it is why tours such as this reaffirm our desire to serve the people of the Commonwealth and to listen to communities around the world. Who the Commonwealth chooses to lead its family in the future isn't what is on my mind. What matters to us is the potential the Commonwealth family has to create a better future for the people who form it, and our commitment to serve and support as best we can. Palace insiders told the Mail the Duke of Cambridge considered making a similar statement even before he and Kate had been accused of being tone deaf on their tour. However, after monitoring the reaction to the Caribbean Commonwealth tour, Prince William is said to have sat down with top aides to mull over his plans for the future. Protests erupted in Jamaica over Britain's role in the slave trade, and Prime Minister Andrew Holness declared his country's ambition to progress as an autonomous, developed, and rich country. At a luncheon held by Jamaica's Governor-General Sir Patrick Allen at King's House in Kingston, Prince William denounced Britain's abhorrent participation as a stain on our past. A source told the Daily Mail, the Prince believes that for him, the days of never complain are over. They added, he definitely won't be speaking out regularly but believes if the monarchy has something to say, then it should say it. He's not being critical of the Queen, far from it. He admires her absolutely and has learnt so much from her. But he is looking ahead to how things will be in 40 years' time. He wants the monarchy to continue to be a unifying force, to bridge the gap. He listens to people, he really does, and has got a very clear vision for the future. He's very alive to what is modern and relevant and is very thoughtful. He wants to take his grandmother's success and build on it, his way. The announcement also comes just months after Barbados opted to sever ties with the crown and become a republic. Despite detailing his reactionary blueprint, Prince William is still said to respect the approach taken by Prince Charles and the Queen but believes his plan will allow the monarchy to survive and thrive. A source added, he believes Her Majesty's approach was right for the time, but he needs to be more reactionary and agile. The Daily Mail reports William did not discuss his statement with the Queen or Charles and did not seek permission from their respective households. However, it is believed they were notified in advance of the statement via WhatsApp. One source speaking in favor of William's statement, told the Daily Mail, the Prince's statement was powerful and progressive. It is the words of a future king laying out their own ethos in the modern world.